I'm not sure this is a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Shooting videos at two in the morning? Why not, man? We're race fans. We're, we're here. I guess technically it's Monday, but we came here right from the racetrack Sunday night. That's right. Welcome to today's Rowdy.com Big Three. My name is Bass Masters. This is Buzz Cutler. There's so many things to talk about from the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. We had to pick three things because this is the big three. So what's the first thing? Well, the first thing has to be Kevin Harvick scoring his third, count him, three victories, third victory of the year. And two of them he stole from Dale Earnhardt Jr. Take that, Junior Nation. <laughs> but as far as this one goes, Buzz Cutler, you have to say this. Kevin Harvick admitted after the race he don't like this racetrack. I can't stand driving in this place. This is a great facility. Great management, great people that run it, but it's just been a racetrack for me that I've struggled. Look, this was a lucky win for Kevin Harvick. I think he would own up to that. He did own up I to mean, it. I mean, he didn't earn this win. It sort of came to him. But when you are on a roll, when you are in championship form, the things break your way. Races break your way. You, your luck, you make your own luck. Well, here's the other thing about it. He had two wins in the bag already, so he was able to make a risky fuel mileage call. That's number one. Number two... His crew chief had him saving gas for the whole run, so he was able to save enough to make it. And his crew chief, Gil Martin, said after the race, you know those other guys? They were kind of going gangbusters and then tried to save later, and he right. said, I don't think that's going to work We've out. We've had J.J. Yaley sit right here on this couch with us before and say, look, if I'm going to be saving fuel, you have to let me know 50 laps in advance. It's not You can't save fuel exactly. in 10 laps. So I think there's a couple things there that they did right. They made a risky call when they could, and they saved the gas they had to, and they got the win. Issue number two, Dale Earnhardt Jr. <sighs> took the white flag, Buzz Cutler. He did. But Dale Earnhardt Jr., he know win the race. But that's okay. You know why? Because Dale Earnhardt Jr. took the white flag. And for that 88 team, that's a pretty good accomplishment and something they can hang their hats on. Not something we would have seen from that team last season or the season before. I think that's something they can be proud of. We had to try, you know. Think about it, man. Winning the 600. That'd be awesome. I think I had to try, you know. Had to try. Sounds good for Dale Jr. And here's the thing I like about this. At Martinsville, he ran, he was running second, he took the lead, looked like he might win, he lost to Kevin Harvick. But he didn't have a race-winning car that day. It was more circumstance. Here, circumstance didn't play out in his favor, but he had a car fast enough to win the race. You know, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is closing in on the win. He's going to get it very soon. This is not one of his great racetracks either. And so. for all of you who said there's a conspiracy out there, if there, was a really, if there really was a conspiracy, then after he took the white flag, NASCAR would have thrown the yellow. In other words, NASCAR made a mistake. They could have thrown that yellow. And, and, and gotten Garen, Dale Jr. Yeah, the win. So. All right, issue number three. Ford's stout for the entire race. Matt Kenseth led over 100 laps. Carl Edwards was strong at the beginning. Greg Biffle was in a position to, to win that race until he had to pit for fuel. You know, Did, but really, those three guys didn't have the finishes to show for the strength of their runs. But David Reagan did. Yeah. David Reagan finished second, and that was no fluke. I mean, of the top three cars there, I think he was the fastest one. You know, he was able to put on four tires late and make a real charge to the front without having to worry about gasoline. But the Fords were strong. So if I'm Matt Kenseth, even if I'm Greg Biffle, I mean, Greg Biffle uh, had a problem with the air hose that cools his head. And I thought when he was going to win the race, I had the headline, cooler heads prevail. But he didn't prevail, but he was fast at the end. Matt Kenseth was fast all night long. Circumstances didn't work out for him, whether you blame the crew chief for making pit calls or not. I mean, he had, had ran out of gas and got on the wrong end of the strategy equation there. So I think the Fords have to take a lot of positives Can out of this race. Can we just point out, until this race, the past few weeks for Ford, right? Matt Kenseth wins at Dover. Dover. David Reagan wins the Sprint, sprint Showdown. Carl, Carl Edwards, Edwards wins the All-Star Race. The All -Star race. Mm -hmm. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. wins the Nationwide Race last in weekend mm -hmm. in Iowa. Matt Kenseth wins the Nationwide Race on Saturday night at Charlotte with Ricky Stenhouse on the pole. Roush and Ford has had a massive couple of weeks. They're, they have nothing that they can, I mean, they to be disgruntled hey, about. you know what? We're going to Kansas next. They're going to be strong. Carl Edwards is going to be strong. Greg Biffle. Matt Kenseth is going to be strong. And David Reagan, my friends, is running much more at parity with his not, teammates. It's not crazy to think that David Reagan could win. It is not crazy to think. Could have won this race. All right, that has been your Rowdy.com Big 3 from 2 a.m. in the Rowdy Studios. I'm, I'm Bass Masters. That's Punchy. We'll see you next time. Punchy, not punch me. Ah.
Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.